guys, this is Subala Mirage. Welcome back to my new channel. As promised, here come the unboxings. All of them are boots. Well, one is loafers and um, it's fall season. And it's my favorite season because I go to New York quite often. My parents live there. I do not make impulse purchases anymore. I used to in the past. Some of you may know that from my old channel. I will see something, have a vision on how to style it, buy it, style it that way once and then not wear that item anymore. So now when I have a vision, I have to have like 10 more visions around the same. Let's start. The first pair is a very classic pair. Zip total 85 calf. They're very soft leather. Let me show you. I am 38 and a half in some pumps and 39 in most boots from um, Christian Louboutin. I tried them in 39 and 38 and a half and 39 was actually quite big. And I was pleasantly surprised because obviously what girl doesn't want to have a smaller foot? That's them. They have a round toe, they kind of remind me of a simple pump. They're very, very comfortable. They're very comfortable and very soft. They hug your foot like a sock and you do not feel the heel. They look like they're 10 centimeter heel, but they're only eight and a half and they're extremely comfortable. I love them so much because the zipper is on the outside. See, it looks very edgy, but very, very classic. I think I will get a lot of use out of them. I. Um, I don't like shoes um, that don't have any platform, especially with red soles, because this will scuff up so fast that maybe after three times of wearing them, I will need to resole them. But I'm used to doing that. Like Christian Louboutin shoes are high maintenance. I think they're amazing and they're extremely, extremely comfortable. I highly recommend them. Mm. Oh, I love the way this smells. These are so Eleanor 85 also, size 39. They're also very soft, but they have a pointed toe. Oh my gosh. This is, I think this is pony. They're made out of pony leather, pony hair. They look so stunning and they will go with absolutely everything. I love leopard as long as it's just one accessory. They would look so good with light blue boyfriend jeans and um, a t-shirt or like a chunky knit sweater and a mini skirt, they will go so well with so many things. I just put them on and I realized that I didn't even know how much I needed them. Also, um, I was told that you can't tell if they're creased, so they will always look very nice because you can't tell, you can't see creases through this uh, type of uh, leather or material. I don't know really what it is. I'm going to show you these shoes on, of course, in this video. Um, at the end, I just want to show you that I buy shoes that go well with absolutely everything and all of them will go well with things that I have in my wardrobe. I'm gonna show you one more pair of boots before I move on to the loafers. They did not come in Chloe box. Um, I ordered them from Farfetch. They came with two dust bags and they're by Chloe and they are my new rain boots. I think it's a New Yorker in me because um, I used to live in New York, now my parents live there and Whenever I go there, I always buy like Timberlands, waterproof Timberlands stuff that I wear for a few weeks and then I never wear again. These shoes, they do not breathe and your foot might expand. So it's better to always size up in rain boots. And these boots only run in full sizes. So eight, nine, and I got the nine and I'm eight and a half and they're perfect. I can wear regular socks with them and I can probably get away with wearing them in winter. I think they look extremely feminine. They have Chloe logo right here and right here. They just have this very feminine silhouette. They're very tight around the ankle. Well, not very tight, but tight for a rain boot, you know? Um, think of your standard rain boot. They look so different. I actually did not think they were rain boots when I first saw them. I saw them in Nordstrom. I always try on shoes there because I always want to know my size, perfect size. Whenever I decide to get them, I like to order them. I don't like when people try my shoes on before I buy them. I know this may seem weird to some of you, but um, shoes to me, again, are very um, intimate. So I don't like when people try my shoes on. I'm more excited about them. Um, well, no, I'm excited about all of them, but I'm really, really, really in love with these. Now, the last pair of shoes, they arrived today and um, they arrived all scuffed up. I don't mind scuffing up my shoes. This leather is very delicate, very prone to scratches. And uh, I have a little doggy, so he's gonna scratch them and probably chew on them a little bit, but that's okay. That to me would be like precious because, you know, when my cat chews on my bag and I have like her teeth in 
it's not my first pair of Prada shoes so they have to have blue Prada paper here wrapping paper and then they have to have stuffing inside of the shoes so these are I absolutely love I actually tried to buff out the um, scratches but I was not very successful so I know they're actual scratches and not just like glue marks or like from people touching them um, and I contacted Nordstrom customer support they said that um, if I order or I exchange I ordered these second day air uh, so they arrived right away they told me that now there is no option to expedite an exchange um, because they are gonna come straight from the warehouse there isn't another pair of these shoes around my area in my size for them to ship them to me she told me that the reason these arrived so quick is because they were available at one of Nordstrom stores so I guess they were just tried on numerous times I placed another order and I ordered the same pair of shoes they are going to arrive like maybe in 10 days these are not going back just yet I need <laughs> I had a bad experience. I went to leave it on store, tried on their shoes, and they had glue, like glue residue all over them. So I told them that I really love them, but I can't get that pair. They have another one. They said, we can ship it to you from the warehouse. I said, okay, great. So I paid for them, I ordered them. And what do you know? I got the same pair that I tried on at the store. So when you place order at the store, um, at the boutique, like Louis Vuitton boutique, they will send it from a different store. They do not have uh, direct access to their warehouse. I think that's different like um, electronic orders are different from in-store orders even if you order it at the store it will come from a different store to you which I didn't know and none of the stores had it apparently so they shipped me the same pair and I confirmed many times that they will not send me that same pair. I was furious. So what I decided to do I'm going to wait for an email confirmation that my order has been shipped to me to make sure that it's coming from the warehouse because if I bring these across the street to my local Nordstrom where I do all of my returns and exchanges I will probably end up getting the same pair. I'm still going to try them on for you. They're extremely comfortable. They do run half a size too small. So I'm 38 and a half. These are 39 and they're absolutely perfect. My foot is wide but they're very very comfortable. Um, I have a vision. I wanted these shoes for over a year. They came out like, I don't know, two years ago? I don't know when they came out, but I wanted them for so long. And every time I tried them on, and this is where my strong opinions come in. I don't want to upset anybody, but I'm gonna be honest with you. Well, these shoes are very chunky and they will cut you off. So if you are short, they will make you look shorter unless you, do like a black tight or something and they make legs look chunkier so I don't have fat legs by any means but I tried them on so many times and I never bought them because I always felt like they made me look chunkier than I am and I have a very specific vision so this is um, this is what I was talking about this is one of those trending pieces that I was talking about in my first video. I mentioned there that I'm not into trends unless the trend is my style and it's timeless for me in my wardrobe. And I think that these shoes, they just spoke to me. And now I know there is a different type of loafer that I do not like as much as I like these. And I already missed one pair of shoes from Prada that I really wanted and now they're discontinued and I cannot buy them. So I decided not to do that with this style because I know that yes they're trending right now and soon we're gonna move on to like I don't know flat shoes and like very dainty and delicate and feminine but this to me is just so timeless for my style because my vision is and I'm gonna insert on the screen how I envision so yes this is a very much skinny anime girl type of vibe for me and I just feel like they will look so good the way I want to style them. In my head, these shoes call for a thigh gap. You have to have a thigh gap, it's just my opinion, to pull these off. I have a thigh gap, but I don't have very skinny legs. So I was always like, oh, what should I, I have skinny legs, like why do I keep saying that? I, I'm gonna upset some people because I do, but I mean like very skinny legs. They will go well with absolutely everything. They are such an amazing classic shoe. I've always wanted them. And now this new loafer, it's not for me. And I just was worried that this shoe will get um, discontinued 
find or you know I won't be able to find it in my size it's hard to find it in my size right now so I decided to order another pair wait for it and just make sure that I have them have them I got um, a Chelsea boot with the same sole but I returned them because they actually go up to here and they cut you off even more and uh, they make me look very big and um, kind of short and I am five six and a half I think everyone should have a pair of loafers in their closet and I didn't until now because none of the loafers really spoke to me and I like a little bit of masculinity added to my overall look and this is the way to do it they're still very feminine but they're like um, chunky and strong and masculine that's it
previous video but that's because I didn't stop and I just continued filming and my baby went back to sleep and um, I woke him up again because I want him to say hi in this video as well this is Johnny my newborn he's three months old thank you so much guys for watching please leave your questions suggestions and comments down below and like this video if you want Johnny to be safe and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any of our new videos Oh, it smells so good. See you guys in my next video. Bye.